so like the previous project that we've just done, Ollie is living and vlogging at the same time. So I don't quite know which one to look towards, but anyway, here we go. So Vlogception <laughs> for the other way around. So this is our six bed um, in Ifield in Crawley. So I'll show you the front bedroom first. So this originally was like a really big lounge that went from the front of the property right to the back of the property. So we split it in half uh, and this is the bedroom with its own ensuite. This is again a really nice big shower We're using the same tiles as the other property. And again, as you can see, space saving. So we had to put yeah, somewhere... Boring. So we had to put somewhere obviously for the for the pipe work for the shower to go. And because the best way to have these on suites was to span the whole width of the room, when I tried to do like, you know, back to back L shapes or anything like that, it just took up way much, you know, a lot more space than, than this arrangement. So we decided to go for front to back, but there's obviously too much space. So rather than taking any more space from the sides, we decided that we're gonna put the pipe work through the back of here. So this is actually a stud wall here. It's a little bit, um, a little bit from where it was, so we can fit all the pipework here, and then again to try and use wasted space as much as possible, we put in this little um, recessed shelf, so obviously tenants can put shampoo or shower gel, or whatever, all in there. So again, it's trying to think about if we're taking space, can we still use that space a little bit more to make sure that it's best utilised, really? So. Andy Whelan said, "Brilliant work." <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, he's he's trolling you. And me. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, um, this, so this is the lap. This is the entrance hall. This was before a um, toilet, a downstairs toilet. So we blocked that up, and I will show you what we turned it into on the other side. But yeah, this is just really the entrance hall. There's a ton of cages that are coming down here at the moment. So this, if there is any room, will become a coat storage. But if there's not, then we'll put coat storage somewhere else, maybe under the stairs or. Um, over here or something. So I'll take you into the other bedroom that's downstairs first. So again, this is kind of a mirrorish, sort of apart from obviously the door and whatnot of that room, but the, the ensuite is certainly a mirror image. It's got the recessed shelf as before, and obviously the, if you can see, because there's no light in here, obviously the, sh the shower goes on that wall again. So yeah, not much really to show here. But with this room, because it goes onto the kitchen lounge area, because that is a risk room in terms of fire safety, this room has to have a second exit point. So that's why it's got a full door that goes out to the garden with a thumb turn lock on it. So that, God forbid, if there was a fire, someone in this room can get out without having to go through the room that's most likely to have got the fire in it. Um, and obviously the thumb turn lock is important because if someone's trying to get out, they don't want to be fumbling around trying to find keys if they've locked that door, so they could just unlock that easily. Um, I actually think it's quite a nice thing to have anyway to go onto the garden, so you've got your own kind of you know garden access. So coming into the kitchen lounge diner, there's going to be a sofa here, TV here, and then behind it, like we've done in some of our other properties, we're going to have a breakfast bar, um, so people can be having dinner or whatever whilst watching TV, kind of, you know, makes it quite functional. And then along here, which is obviously going to be all kitchen units, um, fridge freezers, ovens. I think we're having one oven here and one oven over there just because it didn't, I normally do an oven tower and I have two double ovens um, or one double oven. The reason why this, sorry, I'm jumping over the place a little bit. This property might at some point become an eight bed, depending on planning with, with a, a site adjacent to it. So I've geared it so that should we have to turn it into an eight bed later on, we don't have to redo the kitchen. And actually at this point, designing it for eight people and putting in you know, an extra oven, an extra fridge freezer, that sort of thing, isn't actually that big of a problem. So we've done it so it's like that. And if it never becomes an eight bed, then people here have just got ample space and storage or whatever. So, you know, it's sort of a, a win-win anyway. And then here, so as you can see, this was, like I said, this was where the downstairs toilet was. And so it came along here and we decided that we are going to knock through the wall here to make it a T-shaped room rather than an, a long room. So obviously with the doors over there, it's just a long room. 
Um, but by putting it here, because it's quite narrow, it means we can utilise this side and this side because we are putting the water tank in that side, which is a massive thing, but also needs access because obviously it needs to be serviced and whatever. Um, so as soon as it goes here and it's so big, it will obviously take up most of this side, but it can also be accessed from a plumber to do maintenance work or whatever. And then on this side, we're going to have the washing machine and tumble dryer. So that will be here. Um, so yes, by moving the door, like I said, because if it was there, you couldn't get past the, the water tank. Moving it here means that this actually becomes a really useful, well-used space. Um, and because obviously there's no window in this side, and we've blocked up all the windows on this side, um, in case we obviously develop that side, this having a glass panel in the door means that some of the light from there can come in here. I know it's not that much, but at least it's better than having no light at all. Um, and obviously there'll be spotlights on here that will be on the sensor, so it should never be dark in this room when everything's put in place. So let's go upstairs. Um, this originally was the family bathroom. Uh, we did think about maybe moving the door to this bedroom here so it became an ensuite. But actually what we try and do in all of our properties is have one bathroom at least, which is an off suite. So that should anyone else's bathrooms, uh, say there's a blockage or you know they're, they're sort of working or something, there's always one that everyone can access without having to go in someone's room. So that's the reason why we ended up leaving it, so that it's an off suite. Um, so again, yes, because it's the family bathroom, it's a really big ensuite. suite. We've got a really lovely big shower here. Um, same as the other, I think it's 1200 wide, this one. And like before, we've got the recess showing because before, because this goes over the stairs, this was like a slanted, um, what, it's just a, a slant or whatever, which couldn't really be utilised. So what we did is we built this wall and then we can house all of the stuff for the shower, the pipe work, everything like that, in here. But as you can see, a lot of it is wasted space uh, because you're literally taking all of this. So we've given the shelf there. There is supposed to be a shelf going in here, which was forgotten about, but they said that we can put it in in a later date, but we're going to have to buy a pre-made box, put it in, and they're going to attach it. So apparently it can still be done. So that's going to go here. Um, there's everything in there. So then this is obviously the bedroom that this bathroom belongs to. So we haven't really done anything in here in terms of changing its layout. It is as it was when we bought it. Bought that window. Oh, oh yeah. sorry, we did. Yeah, so there was a window here um, that we blocked up because, like I said, if we develop that site, we don't want any windows on this side of the property. So we blocked that up. And also, it's a bit of a funny window in terms of trying to block light out because it was like a this high and this wide and to try and get sort of you know blinds and curtains or whatever was a bit of a fact so we decided to block out anyway. This is just a storage cupboard really and um, there's not going to be an awful lot in here it can just be I don't know towels or often we because we rent to the cabin crew having somewhere for them to put their suitcases is quite good so this might be somewhere where they can store those. So this room we have altered a little bit. There was a big cupboard there which we brought out to be able to make the ensuite for this bedroom. It's still a really great size room. Um, and yeah, it's obviously got its full size ensuite. It has, this is an 1100 wide shower. So um, yeah, it's a really great size. Much else to say, really, in there. <laughs> Move on to the next one. Again, a little bit of so this had a cupboard as well. Um, the two cupboards backed onto one another, so we took a bit more space from the other room and a, two, a little bit of space in this one and made two on space. Now this one is, I think it's ten centimeters um, narrower than the other one um, because it was supposed to be here. Yeah, obviously the door then wouldn't have opened, so we had to take another ten centimeters back. Uh, to be able to fit it in, so it's it's a little bit smaller this this ensuite, um, but hopefully it doesn't look too much smaller. 
And then again, it's a really nice side room, so they're not hopey. And then this is the final room. Again, this had a inbuilt storage cupboard as well, which we brought out a little bit more to take a bit more space to give it its own suite. And again, like the others, there's, it doesn't really detract much from the size of the room. Um, like in the other one, obviously this is the this is the window I was talking about. So we have one window that is like this that I'm gonna to have to find some light blocking solution for, which <laughs> we'll no doubt find. I'm not quite finished. And as you can see, we um, ran out of tiles, so we've had to go and get other tiles. We thought we calculated it correctly, but I think we were two sheets short. Um, so that will be finished when, when the tile comes back, I think. Um, so I think that's everything. Oli, you want to be tired? No. no. Cool. So that's everything from here. Thank you again. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.